Hey VC, this is a Beatles update. I haven't made one in what seems like a while and uh, today I have to make one because you ever have one of those days where everything seems to go your way and is perfect when it comes to buying vinyl? Well, I had one of those days today. I mean, I had a, a lot of good scores today and uh, so many so that I had to actually make three separate videos which I've just uploaded uh, a couple of other ones. Um, but anyway, but it didn't, it didn't really happen on the best day because quite frankly, without getting into too much personal nonsense, uh, I'm having some financial issues right now so it's not the best time to go into record stores in fact I should probably stay out of them for a, a month or, or or more but uh, my girlfriend and I were out and she wanted to go in her store and my record store one of my record stores is across the street I don't go to this store very often maybe once or twice a month and uh, they specialize in newer vinyl uh, and uh, they had some new vinyl here and this is what puzzles me in a good way uh, there's a lot of Beatles bootlegs I'm finding lately uh, that are, seem to be brand new. And uh, here's some here without further ado. Look at this Beatles Ultra Rare Tracks Volume 1. I mean, there was a series of. There were a series of Ultra Rare Tracks albums that came out of the 1980s. These are not them, these are brand new. And uh, these are all uh, issued in uh, Madrid, or at least it says Madrid in the back. Uh, beautiful covers. Uh, you know, I, I saw the albums and I said, oh, no, not today. I don't really have the cash to, to, to spend on these. But, you know, if you're like me, you never know when you're going to see these again. Okay, so here's the back cover. And uh, I won't show all the tracks for all of these. They're basically really good quality uh, studio outtakes. I saw a, saw a standing there, take two, and one after 909, and... She's a Woman, Take Two, all kinds of things that a lot of you have probably been familiar with these. A lot of them came out on CDs, uh, you know, unofficial CDs and uh, other vinyl releases. Sound quality is excellent, you know, sound right off the master tapes. Uh, but to be able to find this again, this kind of stuff, being pressed new, I mean, uh, I, I've, I've been locating these here and there, that they're making new you know, unofficial Beatle albums. I don't know if they're taking uh, the CDs and putting the CDs now on vinyl, but the covers are great. Here's volume two. Couldn't resist. Okay, Ultra Rare Tracks volume two. I should mention, by the way, uh, I've got five in this series, and all five of these are on uh, colored vinyl. Okay, uh, the first three, I'll wait till I get to the, the third one. These first three are all on yellow, uh, yellow marble vinyl. Okay, here's the third one. Ultra Rare Tracks Volume Three. And these first, first three. None of them, by the way, have any kind of titles or side A or side B. Uh, I'm thinking maybe if you want to know what side is which, you could look at the dead wax, but uh, because they're yellow marble, you can't really see any any scratchings. And I don't. I, I hope that that's coming through. The uh, I'll move it around a little bit. The marble. It's not plain yellow. There's marble in there. Um, first three albums are all like that. They're just beautiful. And uh, uh, again, you know, it's funny how you run into this stuff when you really shouldn't. Uh, anyway, carrying on with Volume 4, Ultra Rare Tracks Volume 4, that's a, a another a photo from the Beatles in Italy. Remember the Beatles in Italy album? Well, that looks like another photo from there. I love these pictures. Um, oh, the last two are on what they call Pearl, Pearl Vinyl, Marble. Pearl marble vinyl. These look white here, maybe to you, but uh, if I hold it on the right angle, maybe you can see some marble in there. I don't know. Last two are like that. Really beautiful, you know. The last one that I have of uh, the ultra rare tracks. I don't know how many they made. I only found five. Look at that. Is that beautiful? Holy cow. And there's something interesting on this one. It says limited limited 79 out of 100. So I'm wondering 
Are there only a hundred that were pressed of this, these things? I and mean, that's pretty pretty weird. You know, they're all from Spain, and uh, I don't know how many of my stores gonna get or win. Well, also today, a little less exciting, but still, for 25 cents in the 25 cents bin, I found this shrink wrapped uh, copy. Well, it's open shrink, but it's still shrink on it of uh, the Say 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 1983 12 inch with Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. It's got the Say 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 hit song on here. It's also got an instrumental of Say 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 and that old classic B side from Paul, Ode to a Koala Bear. <laughs> so. Okay, here's a UK pressing of the best of George Harrison. Uh, a lot of people like this cover better than the one that was issued in the United States. Um, I like both of them a lot, but I, I'm very fond of the, of the darker one that we have with George in outer space with the stars in the night. As I look in here, in a sleeve. I'll put that away later. Oh, I have this. This is another one, another album of Beatles outtakes and BBC sessions and rarities that I had also found at that record store I mentioned about uh, three to four weeks ago, maybe. I don't know, whatever it was. And again, I don't know where these are coming from, but. Uh, Somebody's printed them. This one uh, says uh, Odeon, and it's uh, blue vinyl. You know, it's. I mean, I, I'm happy to have them. I'm just wondering where they're coming from, and you just have to take them whenever you can find them in these stores. They're not all over the place. Okay, and then uh, real quickly, as I'm running out of time, I think here's another copy of Band on the Run that I found, still with uh, cellophane on it and a nice sticker there. So, uh, I like to have it. Got an Alexander's sticker from Alexander's department store. Here's another copy of Wings Greatest with the cellophane on it. Very nice condition. This one's got the Corvette sticker. Corvette's department store. It's got the uh, original poster in it. And I, uh, this makes two copies now I have with the poster. I think the poster's in it. Or something's in it. Yeah, the poster's in it. Okay, anyway. And the last item I have to show, this is something that I showed already in a video all its own. It's from my friend Eli from Israel. He sent me this Please Please Me Israeli record. First Israel record I have in my collection. I, I dedicated a whole video to this if you want to check it out. Um, it's the stereo and mono. Very unusual. Stereo and mono together. Well, thanks for watching, folks. And, uh... Subscribe. I have a Beatles contest coming.